next presentation is Smart Digital Automatic My name is Juliana Almeida. I was responsible for the software and the implementation of the analog to digital converter. And these are my partners, Catherine Duckworth, she was responsible for hardware and research. Carissa Roper, she was responsible for hardware and testing of our prototype and design roles, our system designer, as well as software. Um, our main goal this semester, as you can tell by the title of our project, was to design a screen that would automatically <coughs> dim the car, depending on the intensity of light coming to it. Now, unlike other products in the market, our screen will not dim entirely, but only the specific portion that was affecting the, the driver the most. So that way, it would not be just sunglasses for the car, but it would directly affect the part that's distracting the driver, such as the right sunlight or oncoming bright lights. Now, the way we did this was we had a photodiode circuit design that took in the voltage from various light levels. Now, it was the voltage along with the DC offset was then set to the ADC circuit that converted this to a six bit digital value. The least three significant bits were used for scaling due to the short range of the photodiode voltage and then set to the FPGA board that controlled the screen. Now, depending on the light level, the screen would dim to a certain, uh, to a certain gray level with the amount of red, green, and blue. Some of the designs problems that we had were that the initial MSB430 internal ADC that we were using was unsuitable because of the short range of the photodiode, but next semester we are planning on using it along with a positioning algorithm with multiple screens so that we will be able to just dim one screen at a time like our main goal. Also, um, for the screen we do not have a direct interface to um, the screen due to the VGA output. But next semester, we're planning on in implementing one directly to the MSP430 board, which will do all the calculations necessary. Also, the, we had to do a lot of synchronization between clocks of the different circuits to make sure they all work together to create a working prototype. Any questions? Any, any safety concerns about the level of dimming should we go in on distractions from the driver? Yes, um, next semester where you're putting in a user interface where the user, depending on their own sensitivity, they can increase or decrease the dimming. Also, we are going to have a kill switch in case there are any problems with the power. And we have already tested it on outside of the sunlight, so it's not going to be any further dimming than, so it's not going to black out the entire screen. <coughs> It's only going to be up to a certain point that is legal right now. So you mentioned a pinpoint like like a headlight. How do you track you know where the driver's eyes line up with the spot on the windshield where the headlight's coming in? We're going to have a positioning algorithm that is going to be directed with the um, back um, of the driver's head. So that way it would be easier to track that. Also, there's going to be two different settings for day and night. So that way you don't then it too much at night that will also um, distract the driver a more. What's the FPGA doing that a uh, regular microcontroller can't do? The FPGA is a fairly ideal for controlling an LCD screen, which is what we're using it for right now. Eventually, the FPGA is actually going away, and we'll have a direct interface with the LCD, uh, sending a pulse code, a pulse width modulated signal to the screen from the uh, MSV 430 itself. Thank you.